What's going on, everyone? Hope you guys can hear me. I'm putting these on, but I don't know why because. What's going on, everyone? I have no audio on my end. Hope you guys can hear me. I'm, I'm putting these the on, but I don't just know. Just a sec. Hey, oh, Brandon. Hello. Our first super chat. Thanks, man. Thanks for the twelve dollars. For uh, those of you who don't know, Brandon Miniman is a bit of a legend on here on the internet and on YouTube. I guess I guess he's also considered a uh, my boss. Loud and clear. Cool. Great. So I did a little bit of a different setup this time. Last time was really last minute. This time I'm a little a little late, but I wanted to do something a little different because I wanted a little more control over my stream. And now I can do this stuff. I used XSplit for um, broadcasting before. I've been paying for XSplit for like a year and I haven't used it in forever. Um, so yeah, real quick before we get into this, one thing I did want to mention is this right here. So I teased this over on my Instagram account. This is the Olite i3T EOS in solid copper. Oh boy, this thing is nice. It's heavy. It's already starting to patina. When I got it, it was just as shiny as could be. And now, it's already patina You might not be able to see it on this camera. Maybe you can, but it's starting to darken up. It looks beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, thanks for the $12, Brandon. Appreciate you, man. <clears throat> How do I like the dapper wallet? This is good. This this whole thing is going to turn into the same thing as last time, right? Uh, I like it a lot. But before we get to the dapper wallet, the reason I'm pointing this out: this goes on sale on Monday, so the 22nd of October, and it goes. I think it's live at 1 to 3 p.m. Um, it may be past that. I think I know for a fact it's 25% off between 1 and 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So just so you know. Daylight Savings Time ends this Sunday, and uh, it will be Eastern Standard, not Eastern Daylight. So 1 to 3, you can get 25% off. This thing is actually only 30 bucks. The original, the anodized aluminum version, they're pretty much identical other than one's aluminum, one's copper. This one's 20 bucks, this one's 30, but from 1 to 3, it's 25% off. So 25% off 30, you do the math, I don't know. They don't have brass. No, it's just available in copper. So, just copper. Uh, but they are only making 10,000 of them. So, I think I've got another picture here I can throw up. <clears throat> Get rid of that first one. Uh, yeah, I said I could use XSplit, but I don't remember how it works. Here's for pretending, right? That's uh, that's not what I'm trying to move. XSplit is uh, losing its mind on me now. There we go. So 10,000 only. Need a pocket light. Yeah, this is a this is a great one for 10,000 bucks. So, one to three p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Monday. Uh, right now I'm drinking a Tumbler Autumn Brown Ale. Very good. Spider Code Delicate 4. Here we go, Brandon, since he put in the super chat. He asked, what do you do with your car key dongles? They are so bulky. Yeah, they are. I don't have mine on me right now. Actually, I do. This is my setup. That's as minimal as I can go with it. There is actually a, a thing you can do with the Tacoma specifically. You can get a replacement so that somebody makes a replacement for this that has a key built in so they're not separate but they're still bulky so that's the best i can do with it what edc do i have on me right now man that is the worst question to ask me right now the worst question because i've got this just sitting here this is from yellow birch with the tangram orion in it uh inside that there's a, an Ever Ratchet, a Griffin Mini, and a regular Griffin. Uh, here's the S1R Baton 2, 
the TI Pocket Pro. There's a TPT slide. Here's a black TPT slide. <laughs> I mean, I could go on all day. Here's a Hitch and Timber uh, card caddy. A4 Rovivon and Titanium. Another Ever Ratchet. <laughs> Here's the M1T. Two I3Ts. A couple Key Smarts. Dude, this desk right now is just all EDC gear. It's a mess. It's just a total mess right now. <laughs> so every day I have to like wake up and consider what it is I'm going to carry <laughs> and and it's just every day there's something else too the uh this came today this is from Big Idea Design as well so it is a titanium pocket dangler but what's significant about this is so here's their little their keychain bit I don't know if I can actually fit you can see it uh, it's got a quarter inch bit driver in there that's not exactly how it's supposed to work but I'm just showing you that right there is a quarter inch bit wrench I say bit driver everybody gets mad but it's a bit wrench and uh, a flashlight built into the end of it I didn't even know this was a thing until they asked me on Wednesday if I had tried it out um, I am building up a keychain flashlight roundup somewhere around here I've got a Nightcore tinny and copper and a bunch of other keychain flashlights that I'm gonna compile into a big roundup. How many people we got in here? I, I don't even know this time. Last time it was uh, pretty crazy. 135. Wow. Thanks guys. Thanks for spending your Friday with me. We're just uh, just hanging out right now. Here to ask your question or answer. I'm not asking questions. I'm answering them. I also wanted to use XSplit for this live stream because I can do this. If it looks a little dark or anything, I can just turn up the gain a little. Oh, yeah, just uh, just working on making this a better, better live stream for you guys. Because last time was uh, a little rough around the edges. But yeah, just hanging out. I actually haven't even sipped my beer yet. Will I consider a slingshot for EDC? No. I've seen a lot of people posting slingshots lately, and I'm not ever going to EDC a slingshot. Like, I would maybe carry one to do a video on, like, why would you slingshot or EDC a slingshot, but no, I don't think personally I could ever see myself actually using a slingshot in my EDC. Your EDC has way too many knives. How many knives is that? Because mine right now only has one knife, the Sheepdog. And I do carry a TPT slide every day, so no matter what, I've got usually this on me. It's titanium, man. I'm turning into a titanium elitist. It's okay, you can hate me. I just w keep wanting uh, to titanium everything. Yeah, seriously. I want this in titanium. The Dango, it'd be so much better in titanium. The aluminum on the Dango, I will say, is is not like the best looking stuff ever. This is fine. Um, you have to look really closely, and this camera is just not going to show it. There's not enough resolution. But there's like a weird finish on like parts of it. It looks really rough around the edges in some parts. So, just putting that out there. I'm really, actually, I'm eyeing the Travex Summit. But really, lately, my favorite wallet has been the Card Caddy from Hitch and Timber. I mean, this is just, it's just a beautiful setup. Look at that. It just works so well. I mean, I've been carrying it with the silver or the gray, the raw titanium. TPT slide. <clears throat> Welcome Timothy. Timothy was actually featured. He was an honorable mention in this week's EDC Weekly. Hi, have you seen of my uh, some of my reviews? What's your favorite EDC blade? I've not seen your reviews, and my favorite EDC blade right now is this. I'd like to try it in a smaller version. I'd actually like if I were to pick a knife right now to buy, the one I would want to buy is probably right now the Paramilitary Two with those scales from the the, the copper not copper the ti titanium anodized scales from TI Survival. Those those are. Beautiful, man. You're in Charlotte, North Carolina. Awesome. Uh, 
Applied Survival. I'm in Raleigh. What part of NC are you from? I'm actually in Concord. Downtown Concord is where I live. Best damn YouTube channel. Thanks, man. Thanks. I appreciate it. Listening to this while doing homework. Hey, that's that's a horrible way to spend a Friday night. Like, don't stop studying and doing homework, but I'm sorry. I feel for you, man. One knife. Three right now. No joke. I know, Timothy. Okay, so I was actually... I was talking with Alex uh, about how many submissions you do. Man, if anybody out there thinks they do too many submissions to the EDC Weekly, Tim, Tim Brown here, he does... What would you say, Tim? Like two, three a week? Maybe sometimes four or more? I, there, there have been times where I'm going through submissions and it's like four or five Tim, Tim Brown submissions. <laughs> I should get a rat one. Yeah, I've been looking at it just because it's kind of that like staple knife that a budget, a good solid budget EDC knife. The Sheepdog is badass. I can't flip, I cannot do flippers with my left hand. like. I don't know what it is. Like, I never struggle with my right, but I'm left-handed, and I can't... I don't know what that is. You're on a brass kick. Yeah, brass is nice. I like copper a little more than brass, and it's a little backwards, the reasoning for that. And the, it's really because copper just feels so heavy. Like, I have a copper key bar somewhere over here, and this copper light. This, this light... I bet it's two to three times heavier than the aluminum version. Let's pull up the the website and just see. I have, I think I have the, I do have the Oblite website up. So I'll go ahead and pull that up real quick. So here's the Olight i3 copper. We'll go back to LED flashlights. And we'll, we'll get the other one up and just see the comparison of the, the weight. Because I've been meaning to look it up and I just keep forgetting. So I3T copper. Let's see if I can set up a... I'm not going to be able to set up a, a screencast right now. I'm just going to read the details. I'm, I'm not familiar with, with XSplit anymore. It's been a long time since I've used it. So weight on the original I3T EOS is 1.45 ounces or 41 grams. On the copper version, you're looking at 2.7 ounces or 76.5 grams. So, yeah, about twice the weight. It's a big difference. You carry the ZT350 Stonewash. I've yet to buy a ZT. I've not tried zero tolerance anything. I've, I've held them in the store, but I've not actually bought one. You're in Concord, North Carolina. Awesome. Are you the one that... Uh, that messaged or, or commented on Instagram yesterday because I if, if not there are a lot of you people coming out of the woodworks man woodwork woodwork crazy question did you ever hear of ultimate survival technologies got three or four knives to my EDC uh, I got the TGE EDC on discord and the main EDC website with description uh, I've not heard of ultimate survival technologies I have not can I review the Nightcore 10380 Lumen? I have one on hand. And Nightcore's like, hey, what's up? Why haven't you done anything with it? I don't even know where it is right now. It's, I know it's here. I haven't lost it. Hang on. I think it might, it might be in this bag. I mean, it's in one of like two or three places. This bag is full of uh, my nutsack right now. It's full of different uh, utility knives, and I think it might be in the bottom of this, or in the other nut sack. I can't remember where I put it. I should do a reaction video. I don't know if I want to do a reaction video to people's EDCs. Not in that bag. Might be in the other nut sack. So this is the, this is the Muy Grande nut sack. I uh, redid my office, so I moved things around, and I didn't pay attention to where I put some things. Well, it's not in this one either. You know what's stuffed down in the bottom of this one, though? A uh, Rexford rut, just hanging out in the bottom of this bag. Yeah, I don't know. I think it might be in my camera bag. I gotta find it. Three is your low. I carry one knife. I don't need multiple knives. 
I really don't feel the need. I use my knife maybe a couple times a day. You got a $25 gift card to Cabela's. What multi-tool below $60 should you get? Multi-tool below 60 bucks. So I believe the Leatherman rebar is only like 30 bucks. I might be wrong on which version of the Leatherman that is, but definitely I would say stick to Leatherman if possible. Like if they have a juice on hand, I'd say get a juice. Leatherman juice is not bad at all. And I either because I think they look cool. Let's see what going on. All right, Dustin Bean. So Dustin Bean was also an honorable mention last week. He actually makes a, I believe it's a leather wallet or an EDC organizer and a few other things. I think it's a card holder. I can't remember. You'll have to correct me, Dustin. He says, if you want to add patina to that copper, just use some bluing fluid that is for bluing steel. Um, I like the natural progression of it. This is happening fast. I opened this thing two days ago and it's already showing a lot of patina. The only thing I would do to maybe speed it up is I was reading, I think somebody said uh, fertilizer. Mix that. Uh, there was some sort of combination that makes it, that gives it that really rustic patina where it starts bluing and changing colors, not necessarily like the green, that it'll pull a green out in the copper. <laughs> You're kind of upset you've got the, the black I3T. I can believe that, man. I understand. I'm actually not behind in the chat this time, which is really nice. Last time it just completely blew up with questions. But yeah, please feel free to send me questions. I am here to answer your questions. I've got everything a little more under control this time too. I've got my stream health up over on this screen. I have control of my stream here. If you can see, I'll switch. This was my game stream that I had going on. So there's no game region here anymore. It would auto detect, auto detect a game, but we don't have that going on. So just got this little stream going on here and it, I, I like it. I miss using XSplit. Keep buying them lights with Tay Tay's link. Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, I forgot to mention, if you do want to buy one of these copper I3T EOSs, there is a link in the description. It's good now. The, the, the page is live, but you just won't be able to buy it until Monday. If you use my link, it helps me out. It is an affiliate link with Olight. Do I think the nutsack is worth the cost? I'm not much of a, a satchel so shoulder bag kind of guy. Um, the, the bag I'm actually using every day is the Keysmart bag I unboxed, the Urban 21. I am actually EDCing this bag and I love it, but this bag is also very expensive. I believe this one is 250 was their price on it. You can still get it a little less than that right now. They're, they're pre-sale, but it's still expensive. The nutsack, the, the Moy Grande, the big one I held up, I believe is $289. It's almost a $300 bag. And the little one, I think the little itty bitty bag is $130, $140, something like that. Oh, thanks, Dustin. Dustin said, while well, it's another gear in the mail, he said he's going to send some beads over. He makes beads, he makes wallets, and some other gear. So, looking forward to trying that stuff out. I hope I don't break your store. Or maybe I do hope I break your store. I don't know. Whatever, whichever you prefer. If you want me to break your store, I hope I do. <laughs> I've broken a couple stores right now. Yeah, yeah. And, and another thing to mention is, Timothy said, right, we get good deals with the links here. Yeah, so I'm working with other creators, the people in the EDC community, and trying to promote them, but also get you guys good deals with them. So it, it's kind of a everybody's scratching each other's back situation. It's not even just like, I help you, you help me. It's like, we all help each other. And it's really nice because um, with the Patreon here, so the Patreon link down below, there's a reward level. I believe it's $5 a month. So that will get you in with a private Q&A live stream like this, but it'll be private with just those people. So it's much more intimate setting. So I can be like kind of one-on-one -on -one or one-on like five instead of one and I don't know, 113. Um, so there's that, but also that will get you custom or, or private uh, coupons with different makers. I know Hitch and Timber is on for this month, um, but I'm gonna give 
coupons that are only available to people in that reward tier. So if you support me on Patreon, I'll give back by you know, giving you a discount with uh, some of the makers here in the community. And that's really what I'm trying to do here is, is help the community flourish, help the makers do better, help you guys find some people that you didn't know about because there are some makers out there who really truly deserve the love and, uh, and success because they're really good at what they do. Big Idea Design, they are huge supporters of what I do. They've sent me a lot of stuff to try out. I got this in the mail today, the TI Arto EDC in Stonewash. I have a black one around here somewhere. Um, they've sent me so many TPTs, it's not even funny. I've got a lot to give away. So I, I'm very grateful to the entire community for accepting me and the channel. It's been really, really great. Um, I'm missing some of these questions. Do you re recommend a UU utility blade? If not, why? <sighs> I think if you're going to go that cheap, I would go with something a little more reliable. Um, the Gerber EAB is really, I would say, just as nice and useful. The Slidewinder from Outdoor Edge is, is just as nice and the same price, even cheaper, I think, now. And it's got other tools built in. I would get the Slidewinder over that one just about any day the the action on it it's really tough it's hard to use i didn't like it at all and just would not recommend it like the statue of liberty yes that's the patina i want not not all green but you know the greening effect absolutely actually i can show you i have it right here i can show you the patina i'd like on some of my copper stuff I have to go into Dropbox, Best Damn EDC, EDC Weekly number 18. So we're on episode 18. So next week is episode 19. It's crazy. So this right here is the EDC that I featured um, from Jaron Nesbitt. Jaron Nesbitt. And that is the patina I want. That right there. I love that. That's that's not copper. That's titanium and it's anodized. But there is copper patina that you can do with this. I think it's fake. There's no real way to do it that way. Not a real patina. Um, but that right there, somebody asked what the knife I would buy right now is. is it's probably the Paramilitary 2 and get these scales from TI Survival. And really just copy Jaren because that's a beautiful knife. It's really cool. Whoops, wrong one. Ammonia brings great patina out. That's what it was, ammonia. And there is ammonia in, uh, no, there's not. I mean, anyway, miracle Grow. okay. Just got the bug out and I have not been able to stop playing with it all day. The bug out, which one is that? Spiderco, right? Bug out, I'm, I don't know. I, there's so much stuff like running through my head today I don't remember anything right now, or I can't remember anything. Could you add a section on the website for small makers website? Yeah, so the, the website is a work in progress. Right now, I am at capacity. I am operating at capacity four days this week. I worked until 5 a.m. Um, it's or, or at least 3 a.m. Most days, that's when I wrap up work, and uh, that's not sustainable. <laughs> it's just not possible to keep doing that for an extended period of time. And uh, I need help. I need a lot. I need to, to take this to the next level. And, and to do that, I've got to put in the time. But right now, I'm just at capacity. I've got, I've got to get into a rhythm, right? This was the first like real full-time week that, that I really dove in head first. And uh, man, it kicked my butt for sure. But yeah, to get to your question, I definitely want to work on the website and bring new features to it. What it is right now is not its final iteration. There's a lot that's going to be done to it as far as um, there are user profiles that you can use. So you can get in there and, and comment on people's pages. You can upload your own photos. You can do a lot outside just submitting. And the, the submissions you do have, those are attributed to you. So if you get featured on the website, let me see if I can set this up source i'm gonna go full screen open a new window and we're gonna see if i can uh i can put a web page in 
Here's screen capture, monitor or window capture, new tab, boom, here we go. So I'm gonna do this on the other screen though. So let's go to game stream and I'm gonna add source, screen capture, window, new tab. And it's not showing. Why is it not showing? Well, you would have thought that would have worked, right? <laughs> uh, remove. Give me one second, I'll actually figure this out. But the new tab is not working. Huh. Interesting. Well, let's remove that and try again. Screen capture, monitor, desktop two. There we go. That worked. So I'll put my face on top of that. Here's the website. So full screen. Boom. I remember this stuff. There we go. I did not use Wix to create the website. This is all WordPress. Um, as you can see right here at the top, this is this is WordPress. So I'm not going to go into the back end. But what I was trying to show you was this. So this is Timothy Brown. He's here in the comments. Um, this is his EDC. When you are out with your EDC, where exactly do you go? Um, you know, all the usual places, I guess. Uh, so this is his EDC, Tim's EDC, or Peregrine Command. This is his very long explanation. You had a lot to say, man. No, very lot to say. A very lot. Uh, so picture of the EDC and then everything linked here. All of these are affiliate links. So if you ever want to support what I'm doing, you can just go to the website and click through one of the links and then go buy whatever you're gonna buy on Amazon and now I'll still get credit for it. So if you wanna do that, no pressure, I'm not telling you to go do that, but if you want, you can. But what I'm trying to explain, eventually I'll get to a point, you click on his name and this is his profile. I don't know if he's set it up or done anything with it yet, um, but I know there are actually a couple of people out there who have. So he's done a little bit. He's got his Twitter and Instagram linked here. He doesn't have a cover photo, which I could add. I could upload one for him. I could actually upload his, watch this. Sorry, dude, sorry, not sorry. I'm adding your own picture to your EDC. 18 and Timothy Brown. So you can do this to your own profile. And we'll crop it. That's a pretty good pro or cover photo right there. If I do say so myself, boom. So you have your own profile. There's an activity wall that shows you know what you do. There's other stuff like people can comment on your activity wall. I could comment on, on the stuff. You can upload your own photos to your profile. The website is a little slow right now. I've got to uh, update and optimize, but you can have albums and photos friends you can find all your liked content so if he's gone through the website and liked anything it'll show up here which he hasn't liked anything yet but the eventual plan is to make this a full-on community website not a social media platform i don't want that i want this to just be a good place to hang out which means that it needs like a forum of some sort uh don't have that just yet but point is it's a work in progress i'm i'm getting there and thank you ed market for the five dollars thanks man by the way, got an email today, good until midnight, code I3T25 on the Olight I3T copper, 25 off. Yeah, so that's actually only good for 1 to 3 p.m. on the 22nd. So, I, I, yeah, so you can go there and get that then. Um, again, you know, use the code in the description because that helps. So here is the website. You should definitely use it. There are... Uh, I don't know if there's a way, you know what, whatever. I don't think there's any sensitive information in the back end here, maybe some emails. I don't wanna show emails, but yeah, there are emails. So we'll, uh, we'll just close out of that and go back to this view. Can't show the email, sorry. <clears throat> I actually showed them too long there, but whatever. It's just email, it's 2018. Everybody's emails are everywhere. You can buy them if you want somebody's email, it's bad enough. <laughs> All right.
right. So I, I missed a bunch of questions and comments because I got sidetracked. Sorry. <clears throat> Christopher Engel says, I also got a Gerber pair frame as a primary huge folder and some discount store folder at Dollar General with camo design. Nice combo and the discount folder can be hidden in the, wa in the wallet. Nice. Very small knife. How much do you ride? What, what do you always keep in your car? Not much. Not much at all. Because I, if, I, if my car gets broken into, I don't want to lose much. Um, I got an extra jack. So I have one jack. I have a spare jack just behind the seat. I have a bunch of tie downs. Um, different types of hitch. Like I have a three ball hitch. I have um, a few different versions of, of hitches that I can put on my truck. And uh, that's about it. I have a... I don't keep the bit bar from Big Idea Design. I don't keep the bit bar in my truck, but I do keep the Lowe's Home Improvement version, the Cobalt version of the bit bar. Uh, I think I've got one right here. Somewhere. So this is the Big Idea Designs bit bar. It is a $120 screwdriver that you can EDC. It's got a pocket clip. It's made out of titanium. It is very lightweight and very strong, and I love it. This, if you can still find it, they've discontinued this at Lowe's, but they, you can still find them in some locations. This is a fully licensed version of the same thing, or approximately the same thing. Same idea, same concept. A little bulkier, not as nice, and it's made with... Uh, like a nylon of some sort, some sort of plastic, and it has a built-in extension instead of the quarter-inch bit driver being in the end, like so. Uh, that's how this one works. This one has that built-in, so it is bulkier. It's not made as nice, but you could find these, I think it was like two weeks ago, you could find these at Lowe's for two bucks. So $120. Two uh, dollars, and and they only sold for like twenty to to begin with. I got about six of these for seven bucks back when they went on sale the first time, and they just kept going down, kept going down. Yes, merch is in the making. I need to set aside some time this weekend and try to put a shirt out there. Let's see, battery acid will give the copper that look nice. Spider Cub bug, yeah, that's a very tiny knife. Our field notes are right in the rain better. Uh, Alex, she answered that one. Alex is in here, say hello to her. She's in the other room, not feeling too well tonight. The, uh, the morning sickness has not been kind to her. So give her your love. All right, I'm gonna scroll down and get caught up. So sorry if I missed your questions. They have Juice S2 and I was looking at the Gerber Dime either or. I would say Juice. I would say Leatherman over Gerber every time, every single time, especially when it comes to multi-tools. Knives, there are some decent Gerber knives. Um, I personally want to try the Gerber flat iron. I've not tried it yet. I'd like to, but it is a big knife. So this is a big knife. It is a very large knife. This is the Tangram Rumble. The Gerber flat iron is, I think, a little longer than this one. Have a good night, Teddy. Sorry if you, you've already left me. Sorry. <laughs> You're welcome for the cover photo. <laughs> Let's see. Have I heard of markers? Y yes, markers are a pretty common item. Dustin Bean says, what about having gear reviews on your site? A good place for independent real reviews from your users. There is a place for that. I've not enabled it, but I have a feature that I believe lets you do that eventually so many of you probably don't know this I had a coffee website back in the day about two years ago and the idea was a crowd sourced coffee review website so you'd come to the website list the coffee you'd try to review it tell people what you thought about it and then other people could rate your review which sounds kind of weird but they could upvote it if they agreed or downvote it or whatever 
I'd like to do something similar so product hunt for EDC gear uh, it would not be very difficult to add to this website so I've got a lot of ideas again not enough time because I am working for pocket now right now um, and I'm trying to juggle the YouTube channel and the website and I am just completely completely swamped right now a hey, big idea design is here I'm guessing that's Chadwick uh, give him some love those guys make awesome stuff and uh, thank you for this man I was eyeing that black TPT slide I love this paracord the black and red I love it so thanks man thank you a lot and thanks for being awesome I thought you were supposed to be at a, uh, a fall festival right now <laughs> why do you think most edc gear is so expensive um there's a lot of really great budget gear there there is some stuff that's inflated that's just because it's popular some of it's hard to make like these these are made of titanium this is the rexford rut this is the tpt slide titanium is not cheap the machining is not cheap some things are just hard to make oh kids are in bed okay I'm glad you had fun at the festival well, i think you probably had fun at the festival um, I'm jealous. I had to go get an autumn, autumn brown ale because you just made me want like, like to sit out back and have a fire. Uh, but some stuff, some stuff's expensive because the volume's not there. Um, and this is just me spitballing. This is my idea, my my reason for why things probably are the way they are. The volume's not there. If you can sell, it's, it's economies of scale. If you can send. If you could sell 5,000 knives in a month, you don't need to sell as many or, or make as much on them. The margins don't have to be as high. If you only sell 10 knives in a month, well, one, you've gotta be able to put out 5,000 knives in a month. But the point I'm saying, the point I'm making is, if the scale's not there, the product has to be higher. Price at least, it, it's, it's not easy. And EDC is very niche. It's a very niche category. It's not this widespread thing. And and you look at that and, and you see things like this. This is a $20 flashlight. Most people would look at that and say, $20? I would buy this for five bucks at a, at a gas station. That's what sells in volume. The stuff that's five bucks at the side of the register. So these aren't selling nearly as many of those. There aren't nearly as many of them made. And that's just a fact of life. Hi, what is your favorite gadget? Um, I think I showed you guys this a minute ago. I've got EDC stuff just spread everywhere right now. A cart over here that is full of stuff. I can't even answer that question right now. I, I don't even know how I would begin to answer that question. <laughs> Love them in Wave or Charge. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the Wave. Really a huge fan of the Wave. Thoughts on blackout EDC. So I know I posted a titanium picture yesterday and you guys are gonna give me grief for this, but I'm not exactly huge on theming and EDC. Like I like carrying the gear I like. Right now I'm afforded the opportunity to just build out whatever EDC I want. Uh, and it, that's really nice, but I'm not, I don't worry about theming it. I worry about carrying the stuff I like. So if you can find all the stuff you like in blackout, which is pretty common because most things come in black uh, then yeah but I would say don't sacrifice carrying what you want just for a color or a theme unless style and fashion are more important to you and it's good either way it doesn't matter thoughts on black okay so will you ever do a review on your video equipment um, once I finish this office I wanted to do an office tour video and when I do that I will show off the video equipment I use and how I use it the best damn coffee missed those days <laughs> you don't miss those days alex or do you miss me going out and justifying buying coffee everywhere i went just because i'm like oh it's a business expense does the yellow birch pocket or organizer fit well in the back pocket so yeah um a lot of the time i will stop carrying a wallet just if i'm going out and i know i'm going to be out and i want to carry just a little bit more with me i'll go out with this this fits perfectly in my back pocket 
Um, if I load it up with stuff, it does not fit well. But if I keep just a few things like a knife, a flashlight, and a pen, and then in the back here, like my cards or something like a Griffin Pocket tool, yeah, it fits perfectly in the back pocket. If you start loading it with stuff, no, then that's when I would say put this in a bag. Thanks the other day for helping creating an account. Submitted my sad pocket dump. Hey, the sad pocket dump doesn't matter. If you submit, you're entered to win, and if you win, then your sad pocket dump becomes a happy pocket dump. So that's how you should look at it. Thank you for the four, five pounds. I'll say five pounds. Uh, Nicholas Ahrens, he says, I love all the videos, dude. You would love my EDC. I also EDC my guns, but only when target shooting or hunting in the UK. Keep up the great work, Nick. Yes, and I feel sorry for all you UK guys, because things like this are, I think, technically illegal because they have a locking blade. Anything locking is illegal there. So you've got to carry slip joints like your SAKs, which I still love this knife. The Victorinox Pioneer X. But anyway, thank you for the five pounds, man. Thanks for the support. It helps out a lot. Is the TPT slide out? Yes, I'm pretty sure the TPT slide is out right now. Oh god, the UV light on the side of the Rovivon is intense. Don't shine that in anybody's eyes. I have a Gerber flat iron you can have. I've never carried it. You don't have to give me anything, dude. I've got so much stuff. Best damn knife is my Gerber Ultralight LST. I'm not familiar with that one. When will you be able to have a meet and greet up in Charlotte? Because I'm down here in Columbia. And that's from Bryson Campbell. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask me about that lately. A lot of people have asked when I'm going to do a meet and greet, and honestly, I'm not against it. I, I'm, I'm way open to that idea. Uh, I'd like to maybe hit up like a brewery or something. That would, I know, cut out some of the younger guys who are wanting to do it, but I think if I'm going to meet up with guys, I'd like to, you know, sit around, have a beer, talk. And I don't know of a, a different environment where I could do a meet up where it wouldn't be kind of awkward without you know some sort of refreshments so i don't know uh i'll consider it i'll try to figure out a way that we can do that and i also don't want to do it and have like one or two people show up because a lot of people will, will say hey yeah i'll come to your meetup and then they're like well that that day doesn't work out for me timing scheduling travel there's just so much stuff that that can go against a meetup like that that's $20 for a superb piece of gear. Yeah, the i3T. I'm drinking a Stone Brewing Co. Stone IPA. Good stuff. I've not had stone since I got into IPAs. I had an arrogant bastard, and I was not digging the hoppiness. Um, now, I love IPAs, so I need, to, I need to go back to some arrogant bastard and stone brewing. Timothy says, if you like the wave, but don't have one at all, get a wave plus. Yeah. They don't even sell the Wave anymore. Like, if you search Leatherman Wave on Amazon, it's Wave Plus. They've replaced them all, and the only difference is the Wave does not have replaceable um, wire stripper or wire cutter blades. The Wave Plus does. So they made a huge improvement with such a small change. What's the first piece of EDC gear from user entries? I don't know what you're asking. Makers South Leather Goods, never heard of them. I think that's what you were asking about earlier, earlier when you said markers. Maybe you're asking about makers. Uh, Jack Ploof says, I'm a senior in high school and I'm obsessed with knives, wallets, and EDC stuff, so it's hard leaving my sharp gadgets at home. Can relate. When I travel, I, I now take something like the TPT slide with me because I can take this with me and I can still have a knife if I take the time to stop off somewhere. A lot of the time I don't have the opportunity to stop for a blade, but if I needed one, I could and I wouldn't have to buy a whole knife I could just buy you know one or two dollar pack of blades which is, which is great but having the multi-tool is the biggest thing for me especially when I travel I always have a camera with me and having a tripod tool with me is great so that right there that is a lifesaver just that right there I theme but ultimately I EDC what works Timothy your, your, your EDCs are not themed I'm sorry to break it to you they're not themed they're just, you, you have so many pocket dumps that they're, they're not themed. Don't you try to 
make us believe that. We know better. All right, scrolling down, I can keep getting behind. Support from Hong Kong. Welcome. Glad to see it. Getting my EDC ready right now to head out for the night and saw you streaming. A little nice. Well, thanks, Hootie Mike. Thanks, and have a good night out. Uh, Thomas Doriso says, I've been carrying my SAK for a year and a half now. It is one of my favorite items. Agreed. Alex says, go to a coffee shop. Oh, for a meetup? Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad place. A coffee shop would be pretty good. But the thing about coffee shops is they're usually pretty small. So if more than like five people showed up, it would be maybe a little cramped. Uh, Timothy says, I was born and raised in Europe. Really, I can only take a small fixed blade or SAK with me when I visit family. Anything that locks is illegal based on what I've read and heard from my PD family. That is true. Coffee meetup for sure. I do love coffee. I'd love to come to your meet, or I'd come to your meetup if it wasn't on the other side of the world. Well, maybe we just need to grow this and, and have a meetup on the other side of the world. How about that? I'll, Alex says, I'll go with you, so if no one shows up, it'll be a coffee date. That's perfect. Thanks. Uh, I would go, but I'm in Europe someday. Yeah, I'm in SC. I'd drive to Charlotte for a meetup. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, Alex does not care. She is unashamed of her opinion of EDC. She does not care at all. If I tell, like, anything new comes in the mail, I'm like, look at this, this game, and I'm so excited. And she's like, okay. And? I showed her this, and everybody, when I posted, I posted a picture of just the knurling in the EDC, the Discord, and everybody was like, what is that? And I showed this to Alex, and she's like, okay. <laughs> so, it just doesn't land with her. Do I EDC or conceal carry a fixed blade? I do not. I do not. I do think that a Kiridashi is coming my way, so next week or whenever it arrives, I might actually be carrying a fixed blade for a while, just to see how it feels. What is the first piece of EDC gear from user entries that catches your eye? Now that's a more formed question. Um, <laughs> I know you guys are gonna you're gonna hate on me for this. You're gonna say that it's the uh, you're gonna say that it's the wooden background. It's not usually, usually it's the knife. Whatever knife's there, I gravitate towards it and I'm like, I can judge the rest of the EDC usually by the knife. Not always, because there was one where a guy had a Gerber EAB beside a, a Rolex and he didn't have another knife. And it was just, you know, 10 grand Rolex and a Gerber EAB with a few other odds and ends. Um, but yeah, usually it's the knife that catches my eye. Or if anything has color, something with color usually I, grabs my eye and then I, I go out. Uh, throughout the picture there. Brandon Miniman is harassing me on uh, Google Hangouts right now. Let's see what he's saying. You're not going to see it, but I'm going to see it. Maybe. I don't think I can even see it now. Google Hangouts is broken. Yeah, it's broken. Moving on. I really enjoy your channel. I'm going to submit my EDC soon. Thanks for the great content. Thank you, Judd Miller. Thanks for hanging out with me on a Friday night. Fun with AJ says, have you ever gotten in trouble for your EDC? I have not. Usually, if we are rolling up on a security checkpoint or anything, I hand my knife to Alex. She stows it in the bottom of her, her purse, which has like 5,000 pockets, and we're good to go. I did. I don't think I have. I do have it. Uh. So I had a key smart rugged on me when we went to the fair um, a couple weeks ago, like last month sometime. And I had this out in my hand and, and the security guard was like, hey, no, you can't have that. And I'm like, this is, these are just my, my keys, man. And he had to look at it for a while. And I've, I've gotten stopped in airports several times with key smarts and key organizers like this, but people eyeing it, mostly they, they see that there are keys, but this is usually what they're looking at, like trying to figure out what all is going on here. But that's really the most trouble I've gotten for my, my EDC. But re I mean, really, the laws here in North Carolina are pretty lax as far as like what you can and can't carry. 
Um, Christopher Engel says, due to possible bad quality, I got a crap hardware store $2 keychain folder, but useful as a discrete folder if the Gerber is overkill and scary to people. Yeah, uh, I don't ever really have any throwaway knives. I don't have anything discrete um, other than something like the Cadet, which people know what that is immediately anyway when they see the, the shield. But I don't really, I, I know if I'm going somewhere where I can't carry a knife, I either leave it in the truck or just don't take it with me that day. If you ever go abroad in the US, I am in the US, so it's not abroad, but I have been overseas once. I went to Germany for IFA. Uh, Matthew in Greece, so one of the moderators here, says, if you love EDC and the content, join our Discord server where we are tons of fun. Uh, you're tons of something. <laughs> you're tons of something. I can say that with confidence. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun over there, and and Matthew, or Tact Bro is a huge troll. <clears throat> Thank you, Holly Vanderberg. Thank you so much. Vandenberg, not Vanderberg. Thank you. Silly Star Lily Kid fell into the EDC trend two years ago and love it. Your channel is great. Thank you. MJ says, if you had to choose between Spyderco and Benchmade, what would you choose? Well, it really depends on the price. If I were going cheaper, uh, probably Spyderco, because I don't know of many Benchmates that are really cheap. Um, the Spyderco Tenacious, I, I carry that, that's my beater knife. But if I were going high end, the Mini Crooked River and the um, North Fork. Words catch my eye, man. It's that, that wood, that dark stained wood, but also that paramilitary too with those titanium scales so it's tough it's tough i mean from what i understand spider co once you get a little higher is better quality than benchmade the quality control is a little better and benchmade in recent years have been slipping a little in quality control but i can't say that firsthand oh thomas uh deriso okay pronounced deriso but everyone pronounces it wrong well, if anybody else pronounces it wrong, you can rest assured I'm going to pronounce it wrong. Uh, Oliver says, I really dislike the flat iron and I have too much EDC gear. Please take it. All right. Well, DM me on Discord and we'll we'll talk. Maybe I'll send you something. Willis Watts says, I'm two hours from Charlotte in Virginia. I would show up for sure. What part of Virginia? Because I spent a lot of time in Virginia as a kid. Really just over the border, just north of, of Virginia. So like Galax and... Uh, uh, fancy gap and all that all black or all leather all leather my man i am a leather fiend i love 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 nice leather if this doesn't show you how much i love leather nothing will leather is leather is everything <laughs> i edc a spider co pm2 However, only carry it during the week while I'm at work. Unfortunately, carrying a knife in Australia is 100% legal without a lawful reason, and EDC hasn't yet become lawful. Yeah, there are a lot of places like that, so sorry. That sucks. I hate it. Alex, you should get a hold of one of those cool lights Taylor has. These things are awesome. I actually gave her a Rovivon A3, so my original Rovivon I gave to her. Disabled hangouts, it's useless. Yeah, uh, the only person, the only person on this planet who messages me on hangouts anymore is Brandon Miniman. And we have a Slack channel. We have each other's phone numbers, email. No matter how many different ways I contact him, he always responds in hangouts. So, whatever. Uh, Josh Toll says, my key smart gets looked at going into ball games and fairs and Disneyland. Yeah, that is the one downside to a key organizer. I don't know what I did with mine. The downside is that they kind of look like a knife of some sort. But I had a really interesting realization, and I think the guys over at Keybar realized this a long time ago. But this is like, it's like a DIY Swiss Army knife. You know, you've got very similar form factor. You've got two pivot screws, and you can put whatever you want on this. So what's stopping you from loading up a Keysmart 
with no keys and just all tools, whatever tools you want. I think people are probably doing that with their key bars, and it just never occurred to me until yesterday. I don't know why not, but it was just like some epiphany. <laughs> Uh, BCRS Division says even carrying an EDC utility blade is illegal here. And yeah, the utility blades are illegal in many different places. And that's because razor blades or razors are illegal. And that terminology is very, very broad. And not everybody knows what a razor is. Technically, to me, this is not a razor. This is not a razor. This is a utility blade. Often, this blade right here is far duller than any of the knives in my pockets, but it's replaceable. It's not as sharp. I mean, I can just rub my finger across it and not get cut. It's a brand new blade. They can be sharp and they're good for cutting, but they're not usually razor sharp. So in my mind, this is not a razor. This is a utility blade, a craft blade, like a, like a, um, oh, I can't think of the actual name of it. <laughs> An X-Acto blade is I would consider that a razor because those things are super sharp, but these are not sharp. So the, the, the law is very, very uh, broad in general on that, not very conclusive on it. What is the number one staple EDC item you'd recommend for everyone to always carry item type or brand, etc.? That's tough, the one thing. Man, I don't know. I mean, the one thing about EDC is that everybody prefers something a little different. So it's hard to say everybody should carry this because the one thing I would say is a knife. And anybody in Australia, UK, different countries can't always just carry a knife. So that's tough. Um, that's my answer. It's not a pretty answer, but it's a real answer. You may need a link on that. I don't know what you're asking for a link for. <laughs> Bench made bug out. What are your thoughts on knifeless multi tools? Uh, I think that goes back to what I was saying about this. I mean, you could put all sorts of tools on one of these, and it is a multi tool. And if you get tired of a tool or it breaks, you just swap out that one tool. And I think that that's a good idea. Um, but if you're talking about something like uh, Gerber Dime or Leatherman Wave and just not having a knife, think they're perfectly fine I'm not going to EDC it because if I'm carrying something that big and bulky it's going to have a blade on it and I'm not going to carry another knife I'm going to carry just that I did EDC nothing but the Leatherman Wave for a while am I the only one that carries cold steel um I heard a lot about cold steel before I really dove into this channel I've not heard about a bunch about them lately I think some of their videos are hilarious but beyond that I have no no experience with them whatsoever Alex says, Taylor, I'm so impressed with how much you've learned about knives in the last few months. You're just saying that to sound nice on stream. <laughs> you don't care. <laughs> I mean, it shouldn't surprise you because you know when when I get into something, I dive in head first and I don't come up for air for like four months. And this is month four. So I'm taking a breather on a Friday night. <laughs> Um, fun with AJ says, when do you feel EDC turns into too much or rather everything carry? Um, that's tough because lately I've had so much stuff that I've wanted to carry all three of these flashlights and I don't need three flashlights, but I love all three of these flashlights. This is the, uh, S1R, but, uh, two baton, the Rovivan A4, which is the titanium and the copper I3T EOS. I wanted to carry all three of these yesterday and I had to pick and choose. So if you're having to pick and choose and you choose more than what you think you should, then it's more than what you actually should carry. Um, I think redundancies are good for people who want to be prepared. I think one knife is fine for me. So it's different for everybody. What's your favorite blade steel? I think the nicest steel I've used is the S35VN and uh, I have no problems with it. But again, I don't really have problems with the Spyderco Tenacious, which is the uh, 8CR13 MOV. It's a soft steel. It is, but also I wouldn't mind having to sharpen this thing and not having to worry about messing it up. I'd rather 
use this to cut stuff. Just I use this to cut tree or limbs off a tree today. This I wouldn't do that with my with my sheepdog. So mm -hmm. I actually want to use a cheaper knife, a bigger, more expensive knife. So it's tough. Um, is it nicer? Yes, absolutely nicer. But also that that one thing just makes you not want to use it. So it's kind of a an interesting. Not an oxymoron, but something to that effect. A catch twenty-two, I guess. Just in, just tuned in. Heard slipping on QC automatic. Thought Benchmade. Yeah, I've heard it a lot too. I've not actually ever tried a Benchmade knife personally, so it's hard to say. Can you show what that pin from Big Idea Design again? Is that a new one or on Kickstarter now? So they have sent me three pins. I don't know where one of them is. I <laughs> lost it. Um, yeah. I don't know where the other one is. Here, no, that's not it. That's a different pin. Uh, there it is. So they have sent me three pins. Two of them are the same. The one that I just spent 30 seconds looking for. So this is the TI Arto, and they have it in black and in stonewash. They sent me the tumbled today because they heard that I like tumbled things, and that's stonewash is very nice and the other is the EDC pocket pro so this one is a twist this is their other this one is their Mac daddy that works with the most amount of pin refills and it is the TI Arto EDC and just just so I'm absolutely correct on that and just to make sure I'm right the other Arto box. Yeah, TI Pocket Pro. The auto adjusting EDC pin. So I'll show you really quickly what's so significant about these these pins. Because what else am I going to do for the next however long I'm live? <laughs> okay, so this, everybody knows this. This is a Fisher Space Pin Bullet. We're going to take out this insert which is the Fisher Space Pin insert. Just standard Fisher Space Pin insert. This one, I'm gonna guess, I haven't opened this because this came in today. This one probably has a Schneider pin insert in it. Yep, Schneider. So the uh, Jellion 39. So this pin, can hold pretty much any insert. The way it works is you put in the insert and you uh, tighten it down a little bit. You move it to where, whatever, however far you want the pin to stick out, you move it to it and tighten down. So if you want just the very tip sticking out, you can do that or you can adjust it to have however much of a tip you want. And then you just screw in the back and then you've got your pin and it works and writes and there's no wiggle and it's quite frankly really great and this also works in the TI Pocket Pro which in this one I believe I have a Parker insert in so I have the Parker insert in the other pin this one works very much in the same way it's got a spring though, so this one is spring loaded, and you put that in there. This one has fewer moving parts, and this one just, ooh, that, that's an awful sound. Uh, this one, you just twist until the tip comes out, and then it's good to go. Uh, that didn't work, what am I missing? Maybe it doesn't work with the space pin insert on this one. I thought it did though, apparently not. So this one, the Pocket Pro, I think this one works with like 80 inserts, this, the twisting pin. This one, the TI Arto EDC, I think it works with like 700. Oh, this is what I missed. I did forget something. It does work with the Fisher Space Pin insert, sorry. I, I knew I was missing something, but I wasn't sure what. Nope, I'm just kidding. Forget everything I've said. <laughs> everything. Forget it all. 
But yeah, this, this will work with 700 inserts, I believe it is. But it is a capped pin, so it's a little less convenient to use, I would say. Travex. Recently switched to Travex, and it's the best. I have yet to try a Travex wallet. I've got the Dango here, and I like it. Give me one second, and I'll be done fiddling with pins. All right, so those are my four EDC pins that I rotate between two TI Artos, the TI Pocket Pro, and the Fisher Space Pin in brass. Okay, sorry about that. That was a long aside. I lost my place in the questions to get a fanny pack. Yeah, of course. Uh, Alex always trolls me. She always has. Do you think there is a benefit to pocket organizers or just carry the gear throughout your pockets? Um, like I said, I really love this thing. It, it cuts down on what I carry and I like it a lot. So if I carry this, I usually carry a flashlight as well. And I think that's it, my phone. So if I wanna go really lightweight, I carry the pocket organizer for sure. Do you know of anything that is like a recycled firefighter, the combat sergeant with a pin loop? I don't, but here's the beautiful thing about um, thread and needle. You can sew one on there. It's just elastic, just an elastic band. So if you really wanted to, you could sew one on. Just throwing that out there. So I'm with AJ asks, what are watches in, or what watches are in your EDC lineup? Casio PAG240 and the, I don't know where it is, the uh, Timex Expedition Field Chronograph. So this is my nice knife or nice watch that I beat up and the cheap watch I don't beat up. <laughs> Let's see. I have all three recycled firefighter wallets and in my opinion, the original one is the best other ones are super stiff and cramped. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of the recycled firefighter wallets. I don't really know why. Uh, Nicholas Aarons, thank you again for the five pounds. He said you can carry any lock knife in the UK, but you need to have a good reason to carry it or not locking under three inches. Check out TBS bore knives. They are amazing. Yeah, that's a good point. You can carry different things. And here, technically, you can carry these utility knives. You have to have a good reason. And again, that goes back on that like really vague wording of laws like it depends on the cop you run into if a cop stops you and he's like why do you have this you'd be like uh i cut things for work they're like okay carry on another cop might be like no i need a better explanation and it's so vague and open to interpretation that i don't i don't like it at all there it is okay so big idea design chadwick says you need the white adapter that comes with the space pin refill in the ti pocket pro yeah, I knew there was, a, there was something I was forgetting. So when you buy the space pin, there's a little white adapter in the package. That's what you need to make it fit the Pocket Pro. I knew there was something. I was looking for it. I didn't actually have it on hand. It, you do need something. Okay, so where are we at? Uh, Josh Toll says, I don't know if what I have is the original, basically a pocket for cards and elastic one for cash, but I love it. Just wish it had a pin loop so I could attach my Fisher space pin. Yeah. All right, uh, I gotta stand up. Ugh. This is a standing desk and this stool is not very comfortable, but that's much better. Much, much better. My feet are gonna t get tired now though. Okay. Show dope, bro. Thanks. Thanks in Chavez 1988. William Reader. Yeah, I carry the contour. Don't know if that's in reference to. Uh, Shauna Jones, where do you get the tools such as screwdriver for KeySmart? So these are from Klecker Knives. That is K-L-E-C-K-E-R. If you want to see these specifically, tomorrow over on the Pocket Now YouTube channel, my EDC video is going to go live. Um, 
but the ones I have are the Griffin pocket tool and the interchangeable bit driver. You can get these on Amazon. You just have to search Klecker Stowaway Tools and, and they'll come up. Also, thanks for hanging out, Chadwick. I appreciate you uh, correcting me when I'm wrong. I don't know everything, and uh, I'm glad that there are people who can uh, step in when I am wrong. I, I'm actually very genuinely thankful. Because <laughs> it makes me feel like less of an idiot when I can be like, yeah, that guy's right. <laughs> he knows what he's talking about. I don't. <laughs> Sup, just join the stream if can. Please turn up your mic volume. See, I'm going to turn it up a little bit, but this interface is very finicky and it can get very, very loud in a hurry. When am I going to do more key bar stuff? Uh, very soon, I'm going to be doing a roundup of key organizers. Oh, thank you for the $5 from Jim Kumpula. You're paying money for me to slaughter your name. That's it, because you didn't have a comment. So thank you for the $5. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be doing a roundup of key organizers over, there it is, in that crate right there. Um, there is a box full of Orbit keys. There are different key smarts that I've not used yet. I have the leather key smart, which is brand new. Not used it. I have two ruggeds. I have a black one and a titanium one, which of course I'm going to carry the titanium one. I've got a copper key bar. And I have some organizers that you guys aren't even aware of yet. Uh, some people who have organizers coming out, some going to Kickstarter, some going straight to market. Uh, some people have reached out and want to feature those first in my roundup. So if they're good, if I get them and they're good enough, I'll do it. If they're bad, nope. And <laughs> I hate this because Slughouse, they make a really cool flashlight, but they have a Kickstarter right now for basically this, and it's like... $16 for three of these. <clears throat> these are called Chicago screws. You can organize your keys with one of these. So if you want to buy those cheap, they have them at Lowe's for about a dollar for three, or you can get them on Kickstarter right now for 16 for three. Just saying. EDC snacks. Um, <laughs> what? Yeah, okay. You ever do it? I'm gonna do an EDC bag video. So I have done an unboxing of an EDC bag, but doing bag dumps is <clears throat> is quite the undertaking because the EDC weekly right now takes me anywhere from four to about six hours to edit. It is very time consuming. The pre-production is very, very long, and that's with people dumping what's in their pockets. When you get to bag dumps, some people carry a lot of stuff in their bag and going through even two of those in a video the video would probably be like 15 minutes long so i've not quite figured it out it is a goal a stretch goal for my patreon um, if you really want me to do bag stuff once i hit a certain level i'll be able to upgrade some stuff that i'm doing such as hire somebody to edit the videos and then i can shoot and they can worry about how long it takes to edit you know um right now i don't have the time of day so it's on the horizon, but right now it's, it's very hard to, to understand how I can fit it in. <laughs> I won't be able to do a good job of sewing it myself. I can relate. The Bro Show, any tips on carrying the Buck 110? Nope, because I have no experience with the Buck 110. You might have been asking someone else, but Bill Bauer seems he, uh... <laughs> you could conceal a Buck 110 under a tarp, maybe. Good. Yeah. What fixed blades do I carry? None right now. The only nice fixed blade I have, marginally nice, is a Utica, uh, UT three something like that. I don't know. It came in a battle box, and it's it's all right. The holster I hate. Very nice knife. Really cheap holster. It's a plastic holster. It's not even like Kydex or anything. It's just crappy. It rusted out my knife, man. <laughs> it rusted out the knife. It sucks. Uh, MJ Sposato, Sposato, whatever. Uh, do you have any suggestions for a good leather belt or wallet? Sorry for all the questions. Popov. Popov makes fantastic leather stuff. He does belts now. Um, Hitch and Timber does just fantastic wallets. 
So those are some of my recommendations. And then you also have uh, somewhere I have it over here. Dasofenic, Dasofenic mare. These are more stiff, but it's more of like a pocket than just a wallet. Uh, I like this wallet a lot. The gun deck is really nice. Music to my ear holes in reference to the key holder roundup. Great. Glad to hear it. First up, though, I have to get the keychain flashlight video out there. I have to. I've got so much writing on that right now. And I've got companies knocking at my door like, yo, we sent this thing like two months ago. Where's the video? So i got to get it done. In fact, there are like four videos like that right now. You did pretty well with it. Keep doing it. Are you slaughtering your name? Sorry, man. Full-time EDC gear. Oh, Timothy, you're plugging your Instagram. Uh, if money is no issue, what is your whole EDC? So really, honestly, truly, the stuff I carry right now, other than maybe the knife. If I had no issue with money, I would have a Spyderco Nirvana. Period. That would be my knife right now. Um, and beyond that... I'm honestly happy with the stuff I have, so yeah, I would probably take some time to get my CCW, but I don't even know that I would daily carry a gun. Probably not. The most minimalist mini vest and keychain ever. Yeet. I should I should ban you forever for yeeting in my chat. You made me yeet three times. Uh, hard City raindrops. Uh, he's also been featured here. He said bag dumps are a pain in the ass. I have a few videos. Yeah, it's a it's a lot of work. People don't people don't understand the amount of work that goes into making one of these videos. Um, I can show you. I actually talked about this last time. I can show you a screenshot of what what a video edit of the EDC Weekly looks like. You ready for this? Let me switch over to this view. And get rid of these. This is a Premiere Pro edit of the EDC Weekly. You happy with that? Because that's what it's like. That takes about six hours. So I'm trying to cut this down because it takes so much time and effort and this isn't even completed i can already see here that this doesn't have the the end it doesn't have the end it doesn't have the credits for the patreon supporters it doesn't have the beginning stuff that i put the the beginning it doesn't have a lot of stuff um so yeah this this is intense there are hundreds so this is a, a zoomed out screenshot if you actually zoom in on the timeline there are hundreds of cuts and each one, so you see up at the top um, where it, I have a picture of each of the EDCs, each one of those, there are dozens of keyframes to move throughout the picture to show you each piece of gear. So the more stuff that's in each picture, it takes significantly longer to edit that video. So if you consider how much stuff people carry in a bag, it's a lot. It is so much time. Dustin Bean says, hire someone and pay them in EDC gear. I've thought about that, but man, it would get expensive. I mean, people expect something like, I don't know. I've, I've heard rates of like $50 per video to edit. Some people pay 20, some people pay 40, some people pay 100. If they pay per deliverable, I would feel bad paying somebody 20 bucks to edit my videos because there's so much that goes into it and I know it takes so long and $20 over you know six hours that's not very good um, so I'm looking for somebody who I can rely on and that's also very difficult relying on people is, is hard Shauna Jones says I know this has nothing to do with EDC but what's going on with that trailer y'all were restoring on the mod channel so we recently announced that Alex is pregnant that's why I'm doing this tonight, because she felt bad, and I decided that I was, <laughs> was going to just hop on here and talk to you guys for a while. Um, so, because she's pregnant, the renovation is on hold. That's uh, the short answer. 
we still want to renovate, but who knows if we're <laughs> we we will get to it, but who knows when? Uh, Hard City Raindrops. What mic are you using? This is the Blue Spark. So this is an XLR mic. They have a Blue Spark Digital as well as the blue one. The orange one is analog. Uh, dropped. <laughs> dropped my fucking noodles. <laughs> That's a great username. Great. Love it. I'm from Australia, so I have to carry, or I have to have a very good reason for carrying a multi-tool and like 2.5 inch blade. But if you can prove you're going camping, you can have the biggest knife you can think of. Well, if you got an overland rig like Donnie Rawl, you could carry all the knives with you every single day, which is uh, my plan. So regarding the renovation on the mod trailer, um, I'm actually probably going to sell my camping trailer, so not the travel trailer. I have a, a camping tra trailer with a rooftop tent, solar panels, uh, water heater, water tank. My plan, I think right now, is to sell that and turn my Tacoma into an overland rig. So I can get back into producing mod videos. Which I'm going to shoot an unboxing for the mod channel this weekend. I have to do it. I have to do it. Adam McDonald, hi Taylor, hope all is well. Thank you, Adam, glad to see you here and everything is great right now. So great. Ian Knapp says, I just got the CR CRKT Pilar in the mail today. It's beautiful and cheap. Yeah, uh, that's my choice for a budget knife right now. It's probably the Pilar. Uh, make a video of how you do it in background stuff, like a, like a behind the scenes of a editing the EDC Weekly. That would be intense. <laughs> Are you a fan of Countrycom products, also Meritech flashlights? Um, Meritech, I need to get one of their flashlights for the roundup. I also need some Mech Army flashlights. I'm not familiar with Country or County Com, not Country County Com. Let's see, so many cuts. Yeah, for real. Mmm, beer. Yeah. Cheers. Does that survival knife you made from saw blades, does it still work? Uh, I lost that years ago, and I hate I ever made that video. I look like a fool. <laughs> Just got on, so forgive me if someone asked already, but why can't I see more subscribers, their submissions on the website? Um, okay, so you can go to bestmedc.com forward slash members, and that is a directory of everybody on the website. The reason you're not seeing all the submissions right now is because there are over 200. There are almost 300 submissions and they take about 20, 30, 40 minutes per submission, probably about 20 minutes to publish to the website. If I also publish it to Instagram at the same time, then that's where it starts getting into like 30 minute territory. I stayed up until 5 a.m. the other night and I published five of them <laughs> and I crashed and I was completely completely useless on Thursday so the reason is because it takes a lot of time even though I mean it takes you guys a lot of time to make them it takes a lot of time also for me to format them and get them out on the website so I'm trying to streamline that process I'm trying to do two or three a day but it's tough it's been really tough this week uh, what kind of pin do you use the most or which one are you looking to get I've got really the ones I want right now these two right here are I'm, I'm turning into a titanium elitist. Uh, those two are great, but also the Fisher Space Fan and Brass. So. Eric says, uh, I'm not going to try to say your last name. Bish, bish, no. No. Hey, hope you're having a great night. Thanks, I am. I'm having a great night. I gave the Pilar away in my 1K giveaway. The kid loves it. Wanted to keep it. Yeah. Uh, also, regarding a giveaway, I picked a winner for the, the TPT slide. I picked a winner on Wednesday, and that dude has still not responded, so I think I'm going to do a live stream over there tomorrow and choose a new winner, because I typically only give people 48 hours. It's been 48 hours. He has not replied. I have to take it back. i got to pick a new winner. So, sorry, dude. You had two full days. I messaged you on Instagram. You were following me. Sorry. So, I will pick a new winner, and I will also be announcing another giveaway when I picked that winner because I hit 30,000 subscribers here on YouTube the other day on Monday and I'm actually about to hit 31,000 probably tomorrow so things are going great
behind the scenes would be epic. Yeah, and very difficult. I'm already having trouble keeping up with the edit, much less trying to do a video about the edit. <laughs> Bill Bauer says, wow, it sucks to have to prove you need to carry a damn knife. I feel for you guys, not only are you upside down, but your laws kind of suck. <laughs> yeah, the, I, I wouldn't know how to operate if I couldn't just carry a knife, if I had to like tell the police like they're my parent, why I'm carrying a knife to cut things, not to cut people, to cut things. Ever thought about doing a cheap EDC guide? Thoughts on Cabela's multi-tool? I've not really ever used anything from Cabela's because the only Cabela's here is about an hour away. It's actually in South Carolina, Fort Mill. And there's a Bass Pro 20 minutes down the road. And Cabela's and Bass Pro, very similar. I think I like Cabela's a little more, but both of them are overpriced, so I don't usually shop there. Do you like neck knives? Not really. Um, to be completely honest, and this is no offense to anybody, but to be completely honest, I feel like neck knives are a little uh, mall ninja. They're not, but I don't know. They just don't, I can't see a practical reason for me to have one over a folder. The pins I held up, this is the TI Pocket Pro EDC from Big Idea Design. This is the TI Arto EDC. This is also the TI Arto from EDC or from Big Idea Design and the Fisher Space Pin in Brass, the, the, the Space Pin Bullet. Zebra now makes a true all metal F-701. Yes, they do, it's 20 bucks. <laughs> I found it in a truck stop for 11, ready to go, it works well, but I still like my mod better. Nice, yeah, um, the one on Amazon is 20 bucks, or at least it was last week, so. Have I ever run backwards naked through a cornfield? I can honestly say I have not. I have not. Leatherman only, don't waste your money. Yeah, when it comes to multi-tools, I am kind of a, a Leatherman elitist. I really truly am. That's just how it is. They're really good at what they do. Long time follower, this is from Guy Roberts, long time follower, first time commenter. Congrats on the switch to full time EDC. Hope you post a pocket dump on your, on your own site soon. Tomorrow, my man, tomorrow. The video is going up on Pocket Now, and then I will have the post over on my website as well. So that'll happen tomorrow. MJ says, what is the most expensive piece of ED gear, EDC gear you've ever had or still have? I mean, technically, if you're talking in terms of actual just dollar like value, a phone, the iPhone 10. <laughs> I mean, I do carry it every day and it's like a thousand dollars, but uh, outside that, it's probably just this, the sheepdog, but I didn't buy it. So I don't think that truly counts. Have you used the key bar 117? I have not, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Mall Ninja, yeah. See, that's the thing. Some EDC stuff becomes very Mall Ninja very fast, like Wii Knives. They've got a lot of Mall Ninja stuff. They've got some really nice knives that I really, really like and want to try. Um, I had to apply to review some of their stuff and I have not gone through that process yet. But some of their knives look very Mall Ninja. Same with Kaiser. Some of their stuff's Mall Ninja. It is. clicker on the 701 is not metal well it can't all be metal these are i think both of these are 100 percent titanium other than the o-rings i think they're both and the spring and this one i think they're full titanium construction because if you take this apart you've got the cap that's all titanium the pocket clip is titanium the tail cap which screws out it's already threaded it's threaded itself that's all titanium. You've got the insert, which is obviously not. Uh, and then that and the clamp, that's all titanium construction. So that's why they're $80, $90. We have more like sports authority, Dick Sporting Goods here. Um, Bass Pro is right down from the Charlotte Motor Speedway, naturally. <laughs> But yeah, Cabela's is uh, in South Carolina. Uh, 
uh, Will, they did make a new zebra pin. It's brand new, actually. Where can you get those pins? I think they're available on Amazon, uh, but their website is bigideadesign.com or Big Eye Design. So referring to the basic multi-pool. Just joined. How's it going tonight? It's going great, Paul. It's going very great. Thanks for asking. What's Mall Ninja? Mall Ninja is uh, like throwing stars, swords with ridiculous grinds and cuts and shapes and uh mall ninja is the stuff you see at like flea market like knives you see there like weird designs and just excessive and not really actually practical we, will we have a pro iphone guy on like now when you start yeah i mean i carry an iphone i have an iphone 10 so I've been carrying it since it came out, really, or a little little after it came out, and I like it. I've got nothing bad to say, but I also have Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus here, so I've always been kind of a middle of the road kind of guy. <laughs> I love all my Mall Ninja SAKs, Super Ninja. Uh, Victorinox is not Mall Ninja at all. It's like the opposite. It's utilitarian for sure. Bob says Taco Bell or McDonald's. Taco Bell all day, every day. It's not even a comparison. Not at all. Jonathan. Wow. What a last name. Mons. Monsia. Nope. I've only carried Streamlight and Surefire flashlights. Do you think the Olight products are on par with them? Or are they not worth the time? I have zero complaints with any of the Olights that I have other than the ProSeeker interface. Because it's a click, it's a side switch and you think you have to hold to turn it on and then you click through the, maybe that's the night core. I can't remember. But you guys wanna see a flashlight? That's a flashlight. Yeah, 12,000 lumens. How's that? <laughs> they sent me this thing last week. I got it last Saturday. And uh, holy crap. Talk about a flashlight. Moe's or Chipotle? Chipotle for flavor, Moe's for budget. So the value of Moe's is better, but the food is better at Chipotle. And if you're going for queso, Moe's. Also, if you're going on a Monday, Moe's. Because Moe Monday is... I had that last week. Uh, will you do a Tumblr Rambler video on your channel? It's a huge debate topic among people. Uh, are you talking about like a, like a drink? Like a, like a cup? A metal vacuum insulated cup? Probably not. <laughs> yes, I'm still wearing the headphones for no reason. Dang it, like if I'm live streaming, I'm used to podcasting and listening to people, and uh, I guess I'm not. I don't need, <laughs> I don't need headphones. Thanks, thank, my ears are less hot now. <laughs> you mentioned Spider Co. What do you think of the, I don't know how to, I don't know what you're asking, so I have no, I have no opinion on that. <clears throat> Cutler Jeff is a small is a mall ninja. Oh, I don't know who Cutlery Jeff is. Wait, is that Cutlery Lover? Yeah, he likes a little mall ninja stuff from time to time. Also, his EDCs. If you're talking about Cutlery Lover, I don't know his real name. Um, if you're talking Cutlery Lover, his EDCs are jam packed. He carries a lot of stuff. The beer tonight is Sierra Nevada Tumbler, the Autumn Brown Ale. I have a much nicer beer that I might break into here after this, but we are almost nearing two hours. So if I do that, that, that beer is 13%. So I might be a budget EDC person, but I just placed a pre-order for the Nokia 7.1. Well, huh. how does that make you not a budget EDC person? Wait, the Nokia 7.1, that's not a budget phone. Never mind. There is a Cabela's in Greenville, South Carolina. Yeah, but the one in, in Fort Mill is closer to me. The new Baton 2 is sweet. Yeah, I, I like this a lot. 
Also, Phoenix. I don't know if you guys noticed, Phoenix is launching um, their answer to this on Monday. So I'll link that in the description of this, but also it's over on the website. So if you go to bestmedc.com, there's a news post about the Phoenix version of this flashlight, which is the S1R2 baton. It's practically the same thing, but it's 750 lumens instead of 1,000, but it's got a longer runtime. So if you're not so worried about having 1,000 lumens, it's practically the same thing. And instead of the magnetic tail switch charging or magnetic charging of the tail, it's a magnetic charging port opposite the side switch. Other than that, they're, they're almost the exact same size, very similar design. Uh, the only difference is the old version of the Phoenix flashlight like this had a dual direction pocket clip, and this one does not. The E18R does not have a dual direction pocket clip for some reason. They had it in the last one and got rid of it. If you could choose one EDC flashlight for the rest of your life, what would it be? This right here is bad. I like it a lot. It's just, it's nice. <laughs> Damn, that's bright. Yeah, it is. That's 12,000 lumens right there. It's so bright. Yeah, Cabela's and Bass Pro are one of the same. Yeah, uh, Bass Pro bought Cabela's. I am comfortable with headphones on. Or they are comfortable headphones too. Not as comfortable as these though. These headphones are really comfortable. The new Sony XM3s. They're like clouds on your ears. Yeah, I know that spider code, but I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> your beer tonight is Budweiser. <coughs> I'm not... I'm not doing that on my stream anymore. Yeet is a banned word. Choose one, good coffee, good beer, or good whiskey. Oof. Dang, that's tough, Bob. Why are you gonna do that to me? Why are you gonna do that? Good coffee, good beer, or good whiskey. Like I could live without beer the rest of my life. I'd be fine without beer. But coffee and whiskey? I drink coffee every day. I don't drink whiskey every day. But I enjoy a good whiskey more than I enjoy a good coffee. Dude, that's tough. You just wrecked my night. <laughs> you just wrecked my night, man. Oh, let's go with good whiskey. I don't feel good about that answer. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Imperial something or barley wine. It's actually a prairie bomb. I, I love the prairie artisan ale bombs, but this is a deconstructed bomb, so I've not had this one yet. The prairie bomb is my all-time favorite beer, but the prairie deconstructed bomb I've not had. So I'm going to pop that open once I finish this. Which I'm not even halfway done with this. It's been an hour and 40 minutes. What the hell? <laughs> my beer tonight is scotch. Drinking with the damn cat again. <laughs> oh, so you're Grandpa EDC, Bill. Good to know. Um, yeah, are you drinking monkey shoulder again? You're drinking monkey shoulder again. Can you and Nick Shabazz be friends? I don't know. Uh, I think to be a friend, you have to know what somebody looks like, right? If you don't know what somebody's face looks like, you can't be their friend. Favorite gentleman's knife. Easy. Easy peasy. They're not here. Boom. Kaiser Feist. But, but, the new Feist with the new blade with this handle. I don't like the new handle. I like the new blade. And I don't like this blade. So, a Frankenstein's monster version of the Kaiser Feist. That's my answer. Yeah. Monkey shoulder. I knew it. I'm, I'm not, the stream isn't that far behind, but I'm that far behind in the chat. I had that in a drink. It was good. I had what in a drink? Monkey shoulder. How was that beer? This beer? This beer's okay. I just didn't want to break into my Imperial Pumpkin Ales that are for my sister's birthday party tomorrow. She's having a Harry Potter birthday party. I'm not dressing up. 
and I am drinking pumpkin ale. And that's, that's Harry Potter enough, right? Imperial pumpkin ale is Harry Potter enough. How much does that beast cost? What beast? MJ, what, are you, what beast are you talking about? This, this is the only beast-like thing I can think of. This is a $280 flashlight. Um, it was on sale on Amazon today for 200 bucks. For 210. Just throwing that out there. <clears throat> Let's see. Can you hear for Ace Beam UC15 keychain 1000 lumens rechargeable? I don't know what you're asking. Anyone who doesn't know him needs to check out Cutlery Lover on Instagram. Yeah, I know Cutlery Lover. I don't know him. I know of his channel. I'd like to have as many subscribers as he has. He's been, he's an OG. He's been doing this for a long time. It's a spotlight for spotting aircraft, not a flashlight. Yeah, this is a, a search light. The X7R Marauder. This is a search light. The only one that Olay makes that's brighter than this, which is 26,000 lumens, is the X9R Marauder. What surprised me about this flashlight is it's USB-C rechargeable. USB-C, which is so, so nice. Show your new EDC. It'll be on PocketNow's ED, er, Pocket YouTube channel tomorrow. Whiskey and your coffee. What are your opinions or thoughts on EDC bottle openers? Everything is a bottle opener. Everything. <laughs> and everything has a bottle opener. But if I'm going to point something out, this right here, I love this little pry tool, the Ever Ratchet, but this bottle opener is the worst thing ever made. It's horrible. The tool's fine. The bottle opener sucks. Yeah, who doesn't need a feist? Any specific reason you're going to pack to pocket now? Well, I quit CNET and I needed to do something a little extra to make it work. The EDC channel doesn't quite pay all the bills yet. And uh, I decided to go back. Brandon bought pocket now again, and or he's back there. And he asked me and I said, sure. So here we are. It's good to be back in front of the people who I used to make videos for. What on earth is a Prairie Bomb? Who makes it? Prairie Artisan Ales makes it, and Bomb is the beer, and it's a 13% alcohol stout, and it's very good. They also have a Christmas Prairie Bomb. Amen. Good whiskey. Can live off burnt gas station coffee as long as I can rinse it down with good bourbon. I don't know, man. I, I can't drink bad coffee. I just can't do it. I need to get the feist it's such a good looking knife yeah but i don't like carrying the feist that much like i don't know it's nice i just don't like carrying it that much sheep's foot blade or drop point i like the sheep's foot man i like the cleaver style now i'm i'm huge into cleaver and sheep's foot and cleaver are very similar so i gotta go sheep's foot i also like a worn cliff edge I really want a veg tan leather watch case recommendations. Um, Cave Leather Co. He is somebody who, he actually messaged me this week and said I inspired him to become a leather worker, which is really, really cool. Um, I'm pretty sure he does some veg tan stuff and he's at reasonable prices and he makes good stuff. I've got one of his watch traps around here somewhere. I think Popov might do watch, watch traps as well. You should EDC the X7R for a day and vlog it. It does fit in your back pocket, but it's it's like five pounds, man. <laughs> It'll fit, but it is, it's hefty. I just bought a Feist for $80 on a forum. Comes in Monday. I hope it comes in Monday. 80 bucks. I mean, I guess used, that's reasonable, but I mean, it's originally a $170 knife. So... Cat is dripped coffee in Ocean Isle, North Carolina, so no link. I just bought it at the coffee shop, but I am going to be making hats like this for Best Damn ADC with a leather patch in the pocket logo shape with, with the pocket logo on it. 
Tribute microbrewery for beer, Basil Hayden's for whiskey, Black Rifle Coffee for coffee. You're welcome. No to Black Rifle Coffee. I don't like their stuff, man. It's dark. They, everything they do is really dark. I like light roast. And Basil Hayden's, I have to go with Michter's for a bourbon. And bourbon, I mean, for a rye whiskey, bullet rye is fine by me. But if we're going scotch, Ardbeg, Lafroig, Lagavulin, in that order. Just saying. Like, going up the scale. Like, Lagavulin is, is, is my favorite. Have a good night, Timothy, man. Glad to see you here. Thanks for being so active in every place ever. Ever considered considered a Benchmade 940 as an EDC knife? I have, but I don't want to spend 200 bucks on a knife right now. I have a lot of other stuff I need to buy. What is your favorite fixed blade? I've been eyeing a few different ones, but I don't have a favorite. I just got the new TPD slide and I was trying to figure out how you did the lanyard with the micro cord. Talking about this, that is a slip knot with just a lot of, of rounds. So that's all it is, just a slip knot. So if you don't know how to make a slip knot, just YouTube it. What light ran on two button cells? This one? <laughs> It's also got the best wrist strap of any. This is the strap that came with it. That is a serious wrist strap for a flashlight. <clears throat> when will you start back with Pocket Now? And what content will you be talking about? My EDC video is actually going up on their channel tomorrow. And then after that, next week, I start with, with real stuff. Am I looking at any new watches? The only watch I have my eye on, seriously, the only one, is this watch right here in titanium. They make this watch, the PAG 240, in titanium, and I want it. So bad. Like, I, I'm, it's hard for me to not just open up Amazon and buy it right now. I remember you saying you want the mini sheepdog. I've had it since release, and it's probably my most carried knife. Yeah. The only problem I have with the, the full size is how heavy it is. I bounce between my 940 pair of three and the ZT0450. That's my mains. I also like the, um, I don't remember the model number, but the zebra, uh, the tiger stripe ZT. I like that one a lot. Neck flesh. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Are there any collaborations you're looking forward to doing and what's your dream collaboration? That's a really good question. Collaboration I'm looking forward to doing. Michael Fisher and I are going to do a video together at some point. We've talked about it for, oh God, three years now. Uh, we're we're going to be doing that at some point, for sure. Um, dream collaboration is, is probably, at this point, Adam Savage. Doing a video with Adam Savage about EDC would be... That's goals. That's, that's the grail collaboration. And then the other stuff... Um, is that loose or broken? Sure is. Let's fix that. Uh, the other stuff I'm looking forward to doing is is doing live pocket dumps with certain people. But that's about all I can say right now. I also want to work with some of the makers out there and do like a maker series where I go to their location and do a live video of them making the stuff, talk about why they do it, why they're doing it, what's up in the future, you know, stuff like that. If I could only have one leather item, what would it be? A wallet. Period. BRC tastes like hot water. I don't know what BRC is. Have you thought about making a moral patch? Moral patch for best MEDC? Yeah, somebody actually offered to have patches made for me the other day. I don't remember where I saw that. I saw it. I get so many messages and requests these days. I miss so much stuff. So if you ever want to get in touch with me, the email is the best way because stuff on like Discord and Instagram just gets lost in the noise. There's so much stuff and so many people reaching out. I can't keep up, but somebody did offer to have patches made for me. And I, I don't remember who it was or where it was. So yeah, I've thought about it for sure. Night night, dude. Thanks, Nicholas. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the, I guess it was 10 pounds in uh, donations. Thank you so much. Bill, just listening to those made me taste pee and my eyes water. 
I love a peaty scotch is the best scotch. The wee practic that knife looks very nice. Yeah, wee knives. I, there are several I've been looking looking for. A second, the best MEDC patch, morale patch. That's moral. I was like, it's a it's a mushroom. I, I gave my bench mate to a security guard at a baseball game. Ooh, that hurts. That hurts for sure. That's why you leave them in the car, man. Better, good looking, lighter than the classic Zippo. A classic Zippo with a Thunderbird insert. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I don't. I don't EDC if uh, Zippos or or lighters. What is your favorite folding knife? The Grail is is the Nirvana. Still is. Um, and the one on me, I've answered a million times tonight. Sheepdog. Can you recommend a three, the three point five ink pen? Uh, this is the one I've been carrying most. The TI Pocket Pro from Big Idea Design. Also want a patch? Yeah, hook and loop on everything. Yeah, okay. Well, working on stuff. Uh, merch is up next, so collab with Jake Paul. I hate you. <laughs> You're going to have titanium shoes soon. Yes. Yes, I am. Really interested in the TPT slide. When do you think it might, might do a review? Um, I don't... Pff. Man, I've got so many videos I have to make before too long. So I don't know. Videos with makers would be amazing to see. Yeah, I've, I've been talking with some. I was actually supposed to go to South Carolina last week and do a video with Lever Gear, and it's just not working out. I'm so busy right now. What kind of underwear do you EDC? Uh, Hanes. Boxer briefs with a breathable mesh. They're fantastic. They're, there's nothing better out there. Prove me wrong. The only thing ever that, that I would ever consider wearing instead is ex officio, but they're like forty dollars for one pair of boxers, and I'm not that rich. Was a favorite wallet of all time right now, Hitch and Temper Card Caddy, for sure. It's great. Casio Pro Trek, WSD F40, run some bank account opening bonuses. The Pro Trek series, man, I love them. The Pathfinders and Pro Treks. You can put me on your channel anytime. I create decals if you ever want some created. Cool, man. Thanks. Ever thought about making clothing videos, tactical pants or jackets? No. I am vehemently against cargo pants and cargo shorts and tactical clothing because I just, I, I, I understand why some people like it. Not for me. Not for me. The Zero 350TS. Yeah. Yeah. The Zebra. Not Zebra. Tiger Stripe. I keep saying Zebra Stripe. Tactical underwear. Leather morale patches. Uh, Hitch and Timber has already said that he would make leather patches for me, so we're working on stuff. <laughs> Busy Tacta Bro. Jose, where have you been this whole time? What's your favorite watch? Smart watch or dumb watch? Dumb watch for sure. And uh, probably this Pathfinder, man. PAG 240. Tactical belly button. Line. No, tactical pocket salt. So salt. Pocket sand. Yes, I'm going to make a video about paracord. I've got a big backlog of videos right now. Like, huge backlog. So, I'm working through it, man. As fast as I can. <laughs> Leather tactical underwear with morale patch. Thanks, Lonnie. Thanks. That's that's actually what I wear. Leather. With, with titanium buttons. Pixar didn't have... <laughs> Ex officio sports briefs are the best... Uh, they're also $40 for a dang pair of boxers, man. I can't do that. Haynes don't believe you. I don't care what Haynes thinks. I've been rocking their boxers for like four years now. It's all I wear. Duluth Trading. I, I just love the name Duluth Trading. Also, when I was in Portland, there was this one shopping center. I could have lived in that shopping center. One side was Sierra Trading Post, which is like a TJ Maxx or Michaels for outdoor gear. It's awesome it is a tj maxx brand it's awesome you can get a hiking backpack for like 40 bucks like a nice name brand backpack for 40 bucks and on the other side of the shopping center was duluth trading like best place ever man god i wish we had that stuff out here they don't even have they don't even have sierra trading posts on the east coast other than one location in new jersey 
So dumb. What state do I live in? North Carolina. I'm in the Charlotte area. Tim Stout, or Tom Stout. I said it before, Gene's fifth pocket is EDC heaven. You know, okay, here. I got a little bit of a gripe. I called it a coin pocket in one of my videos, and everybody's like, it's not a coin pocket. It's a, it's a watch pocket. Nobody has pocket watches anymore. It's a coin pocket. Like, who has a pocket watch? No one. Not anybody. Nobody. Weirdest thing you've seen in an EDC. Oh, I've seen some weird stuff. I can't think of anything specific right now. It's always weird to see a slingshot in an EDC. Um, one of the weirdest things is probably... Excuse me. Little uh, stick man. It was like a little stick figure man in John Smith's EDC from this week's EDC Weekly. It, it had suction cups on the legs and it was just like a little cheap toy that he got for his kids. <laughs> Buy a knife from Amazon on stream. Loving the stream, by the way. Yeah, I don't have any knives that I'm like eyeing right now other than the flat iron, and I'm not going to buy that. <clears throat> Do you front or back pocket carry your card caddy? Sometimes I put it in my front pocket, mostly back. I don't like having a wallet in my front pocket. You're not working. You guys never work. All you do is troll me. That's all you do. That is your work. You troll me. What do I think of Ratworks knives? I've seen a couple of them. They look nice. I don't know much about them. Also, another dream collaboration, going back to that last question, would be uh, Blade HQ, working with them on some stuff. I mean, we, we align very well. and we, we could work well together if we live closer. <laughs> I like turtles. I like twiddles. <laughs> Still one of my favorite videos of all time. Ex officio are overrated. My leg hairs got periodically pulled in them all the time. Save yourself the pain. Yeah, I was never going to buy a $40 pair of boxers. Have you thought about doing a budget backpack for hiking everyday use? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> What's up, Thomas? Ex officio, wear them five days in a row. Yeah, so the, the whole point of ex officio underwear is that you wouldn't need as many of them. Because you should technically be able to like rinse them out with water, hang them up, and they're dry in a couple of minutes, and you're good to go again. So, Duluth Trading Company underwear is king. Thank you for talking with us like this. I love watching your videos while I feed my boy. Awesome. Awesome. I'm going to have to find something to do while I feed my, my future son or daughter in six months. But glad I can be your, your source of entertainment. And I enjoy these. These are great. These are a lot of fun. Yo, I got some buck naked extra long in there. Awesome. Awesome. Great. Thanks, Connor. Best vertical bifold wallet. I have no idea. No clue. Probably a vertical bifold. You mean something like this? Like it, it goes in your pocket vertically or it vertically folds? I don't know what a vertical bifold is. Get out in the woods. About to move to Charlotte this weekend. Need some cool overnight hikes. Yeah, there are a lot of hikes around here. I've actually got a book on day hikes in Charlotte. Or around Charlotte a Fisher bullet pocket actually that that fifth pocket in my pants is for the TPT slide that's what goes there or the the Giltek ruck I switch between those two I have the titanium ruck and I'll put that in my fifth pocket sometimes it would be the pocket that the new palm phone goes into yeah <laughs> a slingshot pocket you must have a tiny slingshot I love the flat iron, but it's rather heavy. Yeah. I have a big collection of pocket watches from the 1800s. That's cool, but also, do you carry them? And also, I thought you said you were leaving, Nick. Just saying. <laughs> I've been thinking about a Spider Co. Paramilitary 2 or 3. What would you say? Para 2. I don't like... Uh, the Para 3 is a little longer, and it's, I think, unnecessarily long. There was a discussion about it over in the Discord where the, um, the lanyard loop on the Para 3 almost seems like it's an afterthought in a bad place. A neck knife, weirdest EDC gear. Yeah, neck knife is kind of weird. I've seen some weird stuff though. Like I can't think of it specifically. I don't want to call anybody out either, but there's some weird stuff. What if we did this show, the EDC Weekly as a live show? If I could actually stay on topic and do it as a live show, I think that could work. I'd do, I, could, I could do a couple test runs and see how it worked out, but this format would be really, I think, better for the EDC Weekly. Not an hour long, 
but do like a 30 minute one it'd be easier for me to produce that's for sure <clears throat> You're really off to bed now, LOL. <laughs> Have a good night, man. <clears throat> Keep up the great work. I will, thanks. Standing up. Yeah, I am standing. I've been standing a lot lately for working. John Smith sent me a free pride tool for my giveaway also and sent a really nice note. He is the man. I'll never forget that. John Smith is a legend. That dude is awesome. He's never even sent me anything but a copper tag. It's somewhere on my desk. It just says Modern Outdoor Dweller on it. <laughs> I don't know where it is. It's within arm's reach. It always is. But yeah, he sent me that and uh, that alone was amazing. Must be getting tired. Uh, I'm going to end it pretty soon. We're at two hours. So I'm going to end it pretty soon. I didn't even finish a beer. Look at that. There's a little left in there. Tom Colon, I've been looking for a new wallet. Any suggestions? I say if you like the idea of an EDC caddy like this, consider Hitch and Timber. If not, one of these two, Popov 5 card or the Dasa Phantom Air gun deck. I think they're both really, really good. Nice, live EDC. No one stills. What? I'm missing some stuff here. How do you keep people from stealing your pin? I don't lend my pin out to anybody. <laughs> Yeah, what do you guys think about doing the uh, the best live show I've seen in a long time? What do you guys think about the EDC Weekly, though, if I did it live? It would be dope. Cool. Let's go Dodgers. All right, go sports. Live! Exclamation point. Nobody's going to steal his pen when he's carrying that sheepdog. That's right. This is, this is how you keep him from stealing it. You hand him the pen, you're like, here, give it back when you're done. <laughs> That's not a threat, it's a promise. Andar's making a new wallet called the Turner. Pretty good looking wallet for the price. Yeah, and their pilot wallet has been out of stock for a while. Someone is having fun. With guests live, maybe. Turn my volume up. I already have. I already have. Pokes out of the pocket a bit. I have not done a video on the lanyard yet. Good EDC screwdriver. The best one. The bit bar. Look at that. You get a selection of bits. You need an extension if it's a little uh, buried screw. But yeah. I'm out. Have a great evening. Hey, have a good night as well, Chadwick. You've been here for so long. You guys, all of you have. Audio is way too low. Turn your volume up. Oh my God. You guys, I've been inching it up. I've been inching it up this whole time and it, it and it gets very loud quickly. The, let's not talk about how much stuff, how much we spend on the stuff the wife might, might walk by. Uh, my goal here with the EDC Weekly is to make everybody's wives hate me and I think I'm succeeding pretty well. Do it live. We'll do it live. Okay, okay, we'll, Papa is still live. Yeah, Cody, welcome. Yes, I'm still live. I still am. Normal EDC vids, but do it live. It'd be tough to do it too, like do two of them. I'd watch. Cool. All right. Where do you get all the copper? Um, I only have two copper things, and that's the the new O light. For those of you who missed it earlier, there is an O light sale going on. We'll use this picture on Monday. So the new copper one is flash sale, two hours only, and it's 25% off, and there are only 10,000 of them available. So I have serial number, the link for that is down below, but I have the serial number 0748, so I have the 748th light. All right, guys, I think it's about time to wrap this up. It's been over two hours, and uh, I am tired. It is 10.15. And I got about four hours of sleep last night and about a 15 minute nap before I got on here, which is why I was late. So, absolutely. If it makes it easier for you, then definitely. Well, it definitely would make it easier because there will be no post-production. Hoping to win a Big Idea Design Titanium Pocket Tool, but till then, I'll keep using my knockoff 3D printed one. Yeah, so as I mentioned earlier, 
the TBT giveaway. The person has not responded. It's been over 48 hours, and I'm going to have to draw a new winner tomorrow. Uh, yes, I will be doing a leather patch hat for sure. Absolutely. Thanks for all your good work. The new website works great. Thank you, John Oric. Thank you so much. I'm glad you guys like the website. Please register if you haven't. Submit your EDC and help me grow this community. It's doing so well right now. I'm so happy. Thank you, guys. So, so much. Nick Aarons, you're still here. <laughs> you're still here. <laughs> Best EDC pocket knife under $15. What are your thoughts on Oppenel knives? Oppenel's great. That's probably what I would suggest under 15 Probably up and all, yeah. Anthony Ho, can I get a shout out? You sure can. Thanks for being here. Peace out, man. Have a good night. Can't wait for next vid. Connor, good night. Uh, you'll take the patch. Good. I didn't sleep either. No, how dare you live a normal life and actually sleep? Yeah, for real. I heard Matthew sucked. Yeah, Matthew does suck. He does. Have a good night, man. Will, have a good night. Cheers. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right. Thanks, guys. Uh, I will do this again soon. And I've got to remember how to end this stream because I'm doing it in X Split. I don't remember. So. I don't, wanna, I don't know how to end the stream. <laughs> I guess we're here forever. We're just here forever. <laughs> Have a good night, Josh. Night, baby. Yeah. Good night. Just hit stop streaming on XSplit. There is no stop streaming button. So I'm just going to click something. And if it happens, then uh, good night. If not, then I'm still here. So have a good night, guys. Later.